to take the derivative of square root of x to the fourth minus one, you notice that x to the fourth minus one is placed underneath the square root. So this is a function composition. That means we want to write x to the fourth minus one or the square root of that as f of g of x. And so we need to identify f and g. The outermost layer, it's easy to see here, the outermost layer or the last thing you do to your variable is to take the square root. So f is square root of x and g is everything else. So it's just x to the fourth minus one. Taking the derivatives, we have f prime. The derivative of a square root is one over two times the square root. And g prime, using the power rule, gives us 4x cubed. Minus 1 doesn't do anything, so that would give us 0. And so next, we need to, we need to remember that the chain rule says derivative of f of g is f prime g times g prime. And we already have all these pieces. We just need to put them together. Let's see. f prime is 1 over 2 root x. But instead of putting x in there, we want to put g in there. So it's 1 over 2 root. g is x to the fourth minus 1. So we want to put that in to this function. And that means you replace x in the square root with x to the fourth minus 1 times g prime of x is 4x cubed. And so we can combine them to get 4x cubed over 2 square root of x to the fourth minus 1. 4 and 2 cancel out to become 2 on the top. So the answer is, oops, not 4, but 2x cubed over square root of x to the fourth minus 1. And so the derivative of the original function, which is x to the fourth minus one or the square root of x to the fourth minus one, using the chain rule would be 2x cubed over square root of x to the fourth minus one.